Hey there, we're back and we're working on some more Excel videos. We're going to continue with chapter 11 now. We're working in 11.2. So I'm going to start with problem number 9 here. Um, let's see, this is a researcher within the Department of Education, followed a cohort of students who graduated from high school in 1992 my graduation year if you're interested he monitored the progress of the students made toward completing a bachelor's degree one aspect of his research was to determine whether students who first attended community colleges took longer to attain a bachelor's degree than those who immediately attended and remained at a four-year institution and there's the data summarized below right so there's the n right there community college transfer right um, oh, excuse me, community college to a four-year, and then they didn't transfer because they were at the four-year school the whole time. Sample mean time, sample standard deviation. Okay, so does the evidence suggest that the community college students, um, transfer students take longer to attain a bachelor's degree? Okay, well, the first thing I'm going to do is go to my Excel spreadsheet, and I'm going to label this 11.2 number 9, and then I'm going to also make that table. Matter of fact, I'm going to pause and make that table. I'll be right back. Okay, there it is typed up. Now let's see here. We're going to be testing this, so I'm going to need steps. All right, step one, I'm going to need some null and alternative hypothesis. They're interested in knowing whether or not community college transfer students take longer than to attain a bachelor's degree. So in other words, we want to know, does the mean for community college, is it greater than the mean for the bachelor's degree? So let's see here. Let me go back. So our null would be H0. It would be, does the mean, mm, mean for community college equal to the mean for no transfer, right? So transfer students versus non-transfer students. And then the alternative to that and I'm writing it out this time because um, it's a it's a one-tailed test, so I want to make sure I'm really clear. So the mean for community college is greater than the mean for tran for no transfer, right? Students that were at a four-year in school the whole time. There we go. All right. So written up step two, we need a level of significance, which I believe is given to us in the problem. Let me go back. Yep, right there. Alpha is 0 0.01. So they gave us that. So alpha 0 0.01. Cool. Step three. And this is where the fun begins, right? Because we have this lovely, long, involved T statistic. Let me go find what page that's on. Ugh, page 597. So let me go back. 597. So you can see it. There it is. That test statistic. Isn't it great? Okay, so let me write that up with um, right here with Excel. So if I'm going to need that, I'm going to need the differences in my X bars. Alright, so let's see. T sub 0. That's my test statistic. All right, it's equal to parentheses. All right, so x1 minus x2, that's going to be the x for my transfer, I mean, my, yeah, my transfer students, which would be the community college students, which I can't see because it's off screen. Hold on one second. There we go. <laughs> okay, so it's going to be 5.43 minus the 4.43. Close your parentheses. Right. And that's really the entire numerator because the other half of it is zero because the null hypothesis assumed that that difference was zero. Then we divide by square root and then I need S1 squared, so that's 5.43 squared divided by that 268 plus 1.015 squared divided by 1145. There we go. Close parentheses, enter. And there's our test statistic. Which is really huge. So I'm betting we're going to be rejecting H0, but we will find out for that in the next video. So see you then.